can the 3,500 of us make a commitment? These are some of my aspirations in life. Sweethearts, you are nothing without an aspiration. You are nothing without an aspiration. In fact, something that concerns me is, politically it is okay, but it's not good for humanity. By going and telling a beggar, you don't have to work, I will feed you. You know what you're doing? You're ensuring he'll remain a beggar for the rest of his life. By telling anybody in the world, you don't have to work, I will feed you. You're just ensuring that poor people will remain poor people for the rest of their life. Charity keeps a poor person poor. Every person you go and say, you don't have to work, I will feed you. After you, somebody has to feed them. Then somebody else has to feed them. In fact, truly poor are not those people who are poor with materialistic resources. You know who are truly poor people? People who don't have aspirations anymore. Systematically saying, I will help you, I will help you, I will help you. We have taken away the aspirations of people. And these people are not just living there in the platforms, in the pedestrian crossings and in the slums. A lot of us are here. Our parents have said, I will do this for you. Our parents have said, I will do this for you. Your relatives have told you, I will do this for you. The government has told you, I will do this for you. The society has told you, I will do this for you. And because now we become so dependent, a lot of you have lost aspiration in life. Sometimes when I see these youngsters with so much potential in them, and I'm talking to them and asking them, and now what do you want to plan to do with your life? Not sure, uncle. Because truly poor are those who have lost that aspiration in life. There must be fire inside you. Something inside you should make this human life count. You're not an ordinary creation. You have the potential within you to first lift yourself, in turn the world around, and maybe do something with your life with which this entire world will not be the same again. And that fire is called aspiration. Are you going to be living a life where you will get so lost in the crowd, or are you going to live a life where somewhere, when you die, there must be at least a few thousand people who should shed tears for having benefited out of the life that you have lived, but you don't even know them. That is human life. So what is your aspiration? What strength will you develop? What proficiency will you develop? What will you learn? What will be certain moral right that you will adhere to no matter what happened? What can be some of the negatives you will drop? What can be some of the things that you always felt was wrong but kept practicing, but now you make this decision no more? Nothing in the world should be able to tempt you no more. Even those of you who have already been successful, not just those of them who are starting in their life. Maybe some of you, there are doctorates sitting here. There are people who have become the number one in their profession or in their industry sitting here. Even for you, Never live your life with the satisfaction where to where I have come. Always live your life with this aspiration from here where do I go? Where to where is the story of the past? From here where is the story of the future? So even if you have become the youngest entrepreneur, a CEO, a role model in your industry, I still want you to ask this aspirational question from here where? What next? What else? What more? Yesterday's success do not deserve today's applause. Today you're breathing new air. Today you're eating fresh food. And today he has given you another day of new life. And that new life has to be made to count. So from here where? What can be my aspiration? And how can I live my life in such a way that the life that I live just by the way I live my life, somebody out there in the world feels inspired. Looking at the way I'm living my life, some people out there in the world, one Saina Neval, one Srikanth, one PV Sindhu wins, 
another 100,000 children pick up a shuttle racket and go. One Vishwanath Anand wins. Another 100,000 children want to play chess. One Virat Kohli talks about yo-yo fitness. Whole scissors. city is running from next day. That's the beauty of human life. That you can live a life which inspires a lot of other people. When one person has done it, I think let me also aspire for. When all of us can live a life aspiring to go from here to there and live such a life where our life in turn is able to inspire the rest of the world together. One generation work together to give us an independent India. Trust me, Satyam, we can be the next generation that can work together and put India on top of the world.